today's the day. Headed to day one of Tech Knowledge. I woke up a little bit late because I had trouble falling asleep. Thankfully, the Marriott is just around this corner and I will make it on time. <laughs> Keynote just ended and I needed to get some coffee because I did not have time to grab coffee or water or any food. I found this really cute cafe down the street from the Marriott called the French Truck Cafe. It's really just right there and I'm already back at the hotel. First day of tech knowledge is over. It was such a great day. This is my first time at ETD Technology, and I have to say that I'm pretty blown away by what they offer here. First of all, the program lineup is stacked. I had a lot of trouble figuring out which sessions I wanted to go to simply because there were so many concurrent sessions that I wanted to attend because the topics were so awesome and so were all the speakers. On top of that, they also had some really great things in the TK studio, such as portfolio reviews, which is something that I participated in. They had a Zen Den where you could put on headphones and listen to music or do a guided meditation or uh, listen to binaural beats. They offered the opportunity to take new headshots which was really awesome. This morning's keynote with Jim Quick, he talked about different ways that we can remember things and integrate that into our practice. He even touched on the concept of neuroplasticity, which I was like super amped about. I also attended Debbie Richard's session on immersive learning. She talked about AR, she talked about VR, it was really informative. Her session was really interesting because she talked about how we could actually gain buy-in from key stakeholders in our companies. I also attended Rachel Arpin's session on designing educational escape games. She talked about challenge, actions, and rewards, and how we can use these as different tools for creating an engaging problem-solving experience set within context of our themes or our narratives. I also got the chance to review portfolios in the Career Center. It was really great to give folks feedback on their portfolios and how to help them improve. I also attended Ann Rollins and Brittany Cole's session on simulations, which was really awesome. They talked about in-person simulations as well as hands-on simulations, 2D and 3D immersive simulations, and shout out to Tailspin right there. off my blazer because I'm going in on this beignet and powdered sugar was getting all over it. I completely understand now the hype. It's so real. Okay. Full look at the beignet. It's powdered goodness. One thing I'm really excited for that I had no idea was going to happen was my Lyft driver told me that there would be parades this week because of Mardi Gras. And I thought it was a little bit early, but apparently they start, like they started last week. And so I'm hoping that, that I can catch one while I'm here. Um, need to look at the parade schedule, but it looks like I might be able to catch one. So we'll see. Check this place out. So I am walking down Bourbon and there's a ton of different live music. There's music from each of the different bars around here, but then there's also live music of people out there. It's pretty cool. All right, today's the day, day two of technology, and I have a presentation at 10 a.m. on applying learning engineering practices 
experiences to virtual reality learning design. I am so stoked. I'm gonna try and head to the room early just to kind of see what it's like so I can just sort of get a feel, get real comfortable in the space, maybe do a run through or two. It's the first session in this room, so I'm looking forward to sort of getting there. I had a great turnout at my session. I talked about learning engineering for virtual reality training and how we can apply things like learning sciences, human-centered and design methodologies. I talked about modeling and evidence-centered design as well as instrumentation. There was a lot of really great audience participation, which I appreciated. There was also um, a lot of really great questions as well. And um, through some of the interactions, it did seem like folks got value out of it. So it makes me really proud. And I'm so happy to be here and present at ATD Tech knowledge. Dr. Helen Papayana's closing keynote of ATD Technology was focused around how we can use AR technology to really transform things we're doing in LND. Overall, I'd say it was a really productive conference. I've learned so much that I can't wait to apply on the job. I also had a really great time catching up with some friends that I met at previous conferences, which was awesome, and some folks uh, that I am LinkedIn friends with that I've never met in person before. And so that sort of experience is always so exciting to come to a conference in a city you've never been to before and have the opportunity to connect with people that you've known for a while.